suicidal pressures, not societal pressures, but similar, but suicidal pressures. This is when, due to societal pressure, your spirit and your soul kind of commits suicide and you turn into another person, which is essentially a husk or a shell of your former self. So as I was walking my dog just now, that thought came to me. And I was thinking about how it applies to me. And I'm petting my cat right now, but yeah, it, it applies to me because, well, yeah, it's something that I felt a lot in many ways. One of them being school. I was never a huge fan of school. You know, it's just kind of something that is, like, forced upon you. And, you know, there's good reason for that in some ways, but, you know, it could be done way better. But, yeah, anyway. For me, it felt like since, uh, when do you start school? I think it's, like, six or seven. And then you end at, like, 17 or 18. But, yeah, it's like you have to go there for, like, seven or eight hours and you know the previous hour or maybe even longer like you wake up you get ready you might even have to drive there bike there or whatever you come home you have to do homework that could be hours and your sleep schedule is based around it you have to base almost your entire life around it and if you enjoy it that's pretty sick pretty awesome but if you didn't like me then it can be quite awful sometimes it's not that it was all terrible but I don't know I never I never liked having to spend you know half of my day you know with a bunch of people that I don't want to be around doing a bunch of things and learning a bunch of things that I don't really care about or Maybe it's not even that I don't care about it. It's just that the way they teach it and the system for it is just disinteresting. And that kind of made me, it made me adverse to it. Maybe you hear the fucking trash cans. Maybe you hear the dumpster motherfuckers in the background. It's garbage day. Actually, it's not. It's Friday. Isn't garbage day like Tuesday? Yeah, whatever. But yeah, like I had to put most of my time into learning things that I wasn't too interested in and it was hard to you know be around people and you know make friends especially since I went to a lot of schools but yeah just doing that it kind of like kills who you are at your core because you're not most of the time you're not able to channel that part of yourself or express it it's kind of dampened and morphed into whatever the school wants it to be for some people they can just go from class to class and sit there all day and it's it's fine for them but for me sitting in class for hours on top of what I just mentioned, it was really difficult for me. Another, another, th- <clears throat> fuck. <clears throat> another, <clears throat> another societal pressure was just growing up in general. Cause like, I used to be someone that was like very like playful and like imaginative and like, Yeah, I would just do stupid shit. I was pretty creative. And I would just be goofy and just like, you know, dance around and jump around and just play and just do whatever I wanted. But as you grow up, 
they they force you to put your time into other things and not exercise that part of yourself so it gets like repressed for a lot of people it probably kills it entirely and it never comes back but for me that part of me has always stayed there just down in the depths and over the over the past few years the, pe- the most recent years since i pretty much well yeah i dropped out of college i don't know if it's official because i cuz i i went to school my first semester was the end of 2019 and then i started the second one in 2020 but then covid hit and it went to online and i was like yeah i'm just not going to go to these zoom classes and I just ghosted all my teachers and everything. So, yeah, that kind of just ended that. And I I don't even know. I literally don't know what happened because I just stopped checking my school email. And I was like, yeah, we're done with this. And so after being able to be home uh, and have a lot have a lot of time to myself and to be away from, you know, other um, oppressive uh forces in my personal life that part of myself that kind of cowered and got into a little ball like like my dog does uh it kind of started to crawl back out and i i kind of started to forget about it you know because it got so muted but yeah it's been coming back since i've been able to be by myself and be myself a lot more so yeah the past couple years since it's been coming out of me that sounded really bad but you know i i've always been i've never had a dream i've always felt directionless in my life i've never had anything i've wanted to do really in terms of like big goals, I guess, like, you know, I like playing games. I like hanging out with my friends and just like having fun. You know what I mean? But I've not, and I've, I've never had any, any big ambition of like, you know, grinding super hard to do something. I've never connected with, you know, the, the wake up at 6am, hit the gym, go to work, grind hard every day type of shit. It's never been me. And since I've gotten more in touch with myself, yeah, that that more playful, creative part of me has come back. And so now that's the direction that I'm putting my life towards. Hopefully I can, uh, you know, not go uh, homeless or, uh, you know, hit a brick wall and not succeed in anything. You know, I, I at least want to have like you know a a modest um not completely carefree because that's boring and that's unrealistic but you know just a life that i can enjoy and for me that starts with being myself and doing what i like to do which is being playful and creative and all that kind of stuff so yeah i'm kind of rambling i tend to lose my my point of what i'm talking about and shit but yeah, basically, I just wanted to share that and I wanted to encourage anyone who needed to hear that, you know, to do your best to be yourself and let that be your guide as to what direction you take in life. Because, you know, what, what kind of life is it if you're not doing if you're not enjoying it you're not doing what you want to do and that that's not to say that you know you just reject anything that you don't connect with or that you don't fuck with it's just you know you know you're always going to struggle and you're always going to have to like battle something so it's better to like choose your own battles in your own path that you've chosen so yeah don't be someone that you're not and let your intuition and your soul guide you 
And through that, I think you'll probably have a fulfilling life. I don't know. My life isn't very fulfilling, but I'm kind of just starting on this path. So I'm hoping that I'll get to that place and things will get better. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say goodbye because I'm just saying shit. But okay, goodbye and good luck. Peace, peace.